Hello, I'm at the gym. Actually, I just pulled in. It's five minutes to four. So I have to sit here and wait because uh, they can ticket you before four. <laughs> I'm still a little sick, as I'm sure you can hear. I'm feeling much better than I have been this past week. But I've got, you know, a little bit of congestion, kind of some drainage. So, like, we're right at the tail end of this cold. But I am so sick of being in my apartment. Like, I am a homebody. I love being at home. But this is excessive. Uh, so, I'm going to go do my first workout, I think, of this year. I don't know if I've gotten another workout in this year. Here's a little vulnerability uh, here. I went to the doctor because I thought I had strep throat. It was just a cold, but they also drew my blood to do some blood work because it hadn't been done in a while. And I got the results back from that a couple days ago and the results were not good. I have high cholesterol and I am pre-diabetic. I cried for a little while. I mean, it's just, it's I'm more embarrassed than anything that I let myself get to this point. So I cried for a little while. And now I'm rededicating myself to my exercise regimen and to eating healthy. Eating healthy has always been a struggle for me. And so now I'm really focusing in on that. I'm keeping track of what I eat as well with an app on my phone. And I've done a day, <laughs> a day of that. Yeah, so it's embarrassing for me. Um, I've always been kind of an active person until the last few years. And, you know, I can blame it on depression, on the anxiety, and on being in school, and, like, the stress and everything. But when it, what it comes down to is me. It comes down to my determination and my dedication to myself and my body and my health, my future. And it's time to take back control of that and make a difference. I weighed in today. I'm at 244. I started this weight loss journey at 264. So I've lost... 20 pounds since September, which is awesome. I'm very proud of myself, but I don't want to stop there. I would like to lose another 40 pounds this year, and I think I can beat that, but I'm going to start with my goals being small. So if you'd like to come along with me for my workout today, let's go. <laughs> never had a red patch like this on my chest before and I didn't even work that hard like that was basically a warm-up when I'm usually like well what is this
so last you saw was me squatting in the squat rack. That was my second round of that. And then I almost passed out. So, you know, great. My legs are quaking so bad right now that uh, I'm done with weights. Uh, and so that I can still walk tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go get back on the treadmill because for some reason squatting makes me more sore than just doing regular like weight machines. So I have to like really work my legs back out and stretch, which I'm excited for. I haven't been able to stretch in a while. <laughs> So many people there tonight. Uh, wow. Because I've been doing this for so many months in a row, I forgot uh, that New Year's resolutions is a thing, and so everybody is at the gym right now. I know that it'll die down in like a month, but I hope that it doesn't. If you're starting fresh on your New Year's resolutions, I hope you keep at it. If you're, you know, just continuing to do the same thing you've been doing for years, I hope you keep at it. There's always room enough for everyone in the gym. And if you're taking your health back into your own hands like I am, I hope to see you working hard and achieving your goals. Yeah, so I did a lot of stretching to cool down and try to get my legs <laughs> to release all of their tension. You only saw a small part of it. I did a lot of warm-up stretching to be able to get into the splits, which that's something I've been working on for months, is getting into the splits and being not flexible through my hips. A lot of that is natural, but also been using a lot of dedication to get to that point. I'm feeling good. For my food tracker, I have not eaten enough today, so it's time for me to go home and have some dinner, have a shower, uh, maybe read a little bit and then go to bed and do this all over again tomorrow. I'm definitely coming earlier tomorrow. <laughs> I have to. I have work at 5 tomorrow up here and so I'm going to come to the gym early, bring my work clothes and shower things and shower after I'm done working out and then go to work. I'm doing valet so I'll do extra cardio tomorrow. So that's exciting. Yeah, I realized that like exercise is not frequent content on my channel, um, but it's definitely something that I wanna show more of. It helps keep me motivated. Usually I just record what I'm doing on Snapchat and it reaches like 20 people, which is great. And I'm really grateful for my Snapchat family supporting me, all the positive messages everything but I want to continue to motivate myself and maybe reach a bigger audience none of my family is on my snapchat for reasons <laughs> and so you know maybe my family will be able to see this and inspire their own journeys I know it's tough it's hard to get out there but it's literally it's do or die you have to take care of your body or you will die young and I refuse. <laughs> I've got a lot to live for, and I'm, I want my body to make it as far as as far as we can.
um, I say as my body continues to shut down for my cold. <coughs> I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe before you go. And, uh, happy new year. Happy, uh, happy workouts. Happy life. Bye.